Hi, welcome. In this session, let us see how we can share the fixtures. We have seen how to write fixtures in the same test file. So these fixtures, whatever we have written in the same file are available to the test functions within this same file. If we want to make these fixtures available to other test functions, then we have to use some kind of plugin in PyTest called conftest.py file. I am Kumar and welcome to my channel on tech and tutorials. So that conftest.py file is a special plugin in PyTest and if we write the fixtures into that file then the, those fixtures are available to all the test functions in that folder as well as to the test functions in the subdirectories of that folder. So we can put those conf test files within our main directory and then all those test files within that directory we can use those fixtures in that conf test file and then the subdirectories can also use use those. We can have multiple conf test files are uh, not in the same directories but in the subdirectories. So an important thing to note here is that the conf test file is a python module it and it should not be imported by the test files. The conf test file actually gets read by the pytest and it's actually kind of a local plugin. Okay so let us look into an example of how we can use the conf test file. So for that let me create a conf test file within this by fixtures folder and we have to name it as conf test this name should be actually same name whatever i have defined here conf test.py file so let us do one thing let us actually use all the fixtures whatever we have done in our previous session and let us copy this whole fixtures from here and we'll see how we can run those okay so let me quickly write down the conf test files let me take it down from here and put it in our conf test file. It's going to be a little bit different. It's not going to be exactly the same way how we are writing here because some of these variables are available within this test file. But if we put these variables in the conf test files, it might not be available. The variables might not be available, but whatever we pass our return from these fixtures will be available. So we might need to change a little bit in our conf test dot py file how we write these uh, fixtures with these variables so let me quickly write down it here and come back okay so um this is the conf test dot py file and this is little bit different than the way which we have written so let me show you one thing in pytest here if you see here there is something called pytest underscore namespace where we can define the variables and those variables are available across all the test sessions or the test functions but uh, looks like that is now removed in version 4.0 and above so what we are doing is we are using this stopgap measure of defining those variables pytest underscore configure and if we define these variables pytest dot uh, my underscore symbol and this variable is going to be available across all my test functions but we need to define it within a function pytest underscore configure and if you want to refer it you can go through this url doc pytest.org and then you can go to the deprecations.html okay so let us come back to our texture and if you see here i am also defining the same thing pytest underscore configure and then the weekdays one and weekdays two i want to make these variables av available across my test functions that's why i have to put it within this function def pytest underscore configure and then what we are doing in this fixture is I am making a copy of this weekdays uh, list variable so that uh, if I try to append it within that variable it is going to change the original one so that's why we need to make a copy and send it do a return from this setup 01 fixture and then of course the yield and after the yield teardown is running here okay so we are this is a wrong statement here by just with this we are not going to remove anything from here we're just making a copy okay so this is the uh, second fixture which we have copied from the earlier session and here also we are doing the same thing we are making a copy and we are inserting into the first offset zero and thursday and then we are returning the week two variable Okay, let us quickly write down the next test module and let me name it as fixture 03. And let me do one thing. Let me quickly write down the test functions and then come back. Okay, so this is our test functions now. 
and uh, we what function we are doing here is we are deleting whatever we have added it in the fixture so we got the setup 01 from here yield week which includes monday tuesday wednesday and then thursday and in this first line we are deleting from the end setup 01 minus 1 delete and it's going to delete it from the list thursday is going to be deleted and i'm just trying to do a print here so that we can see what is there and then our uh, session shows that setup 01 pi test dot weekdays which is actually this one monday tuesday wednesday there are three items in this list and this is going this is the asset the second test here is remove item and it's if you do a remove from the list it's going to remove the item you can provide the item name here thursday and it's going to remove uh, from this list and setup 02 if you see here setup 02 we are actually inserting in the first place first index 0 and thursday and the same thing which we are removing from here and in the session we are doing a pytest dot test 2 so now we can run uh, this whole test and see that it is working fine okay so both tests got ran and here are the print statements if you see here monday tuesday wednesday and then test remove item okay so we are printing before the remove has been done here that's why you can see the thursday here after that it got removed and then the assert statement here so thursday friday saturday sunday print before the remove and we are removing thursday here and then we are asserting here so that's how we can use the conf test to put our fixtures in a single file and use it within all our tests multiple or multiple tests you can also keep this conf test outside of this fixtures folder and you can put it in the pytest topic folder and it's going to be the same thing i can actually put it within this pytest topics and so conf test is outside this but my test is here test 03 test 03 so let us do one thing actually let us actually run this again and see that it is running fine okay same thing here same output and both my tests ran and both got passed here so let me actually move back to this inside the pytest fixture okay so this is fine now so the other point to note here is we if you see here i have kept the name as setup01 and setup02 which is actually same thing within this test fixtures too setup01 and setup02 so the thing to note here is if there is a fixture within your test file or within the subdirectory there is a fixture with the same name the fixture within the file or within the subdirectory is going to override what is coming from outside of that subdirectory or outside of that test file so that is another point to keep note of while writing fixtures usually people don't keep the same name for the fixtures but in certain scenarios where you want to override those fixtures and add some more things or remove some things or put some logic in there in that case overriding of the fixtures is actually helpful okay that's all in this session we have seen how to share the fixtures if we put it in a conf test files and we have talked about how the fixtures are overridden based on where you are defining and where you are putting those fixtures thank you hope it was helpful to you thanks a lot for watching